that type of error is actually not as severe as what we are seeing over here. Do you agree? If you have a compound of error, it just the adds up, you would expect the error to grow in a linear fashion, right? First step you have one, second step you have two. But here, we actually don't see it grow in a linear fashion. What do you see it grow, right? I mean, if I plot, uh, if I plot the absolute value of u, uh, let me close all and plot absolute value of u, it's, it doesn't even show up. So I should really do a semi-log uh, y of absolute value of u, and then you see it goes up like in order of magnitude quickly, right? So it's not a linear growth, it's a what? Exponential growth. When you see an exponential growth, it's not just the errors add up. The error gets multiplied every step, right? Do you? Yeah, there is. It's it's like a it's like when there is negative damping, right? It's like when you. Oh, by the way, when you when you look at, uh, uh, for example, a pendulum system or or some system like you have an ODE, right? How do you analyze if you have a negative damping or not? How do you how do you figure out if the system is unstable? Anybody remember or anybody did that in? Did you do that in 1803 or something like that? Oh, there is a formula for the damping, but like, where do you get the formula? What's the fundamental idea about analyzing if something is stable or not? Yeah, if the oscillation grows, what, what tells you if the oscillation grows or not? <laughs> but can can you can you I mean do you know ahead of time if something if the oscillation is going to grow just looking at the formula so here if I if I don't give you a computer if you have no computer I will just ask you to stare at these three numbers for a lifetime can you tell me if the if the error is going to grow or not Yes, now you are getting to the uh, to the rough domain of the idea. You are looking at the determinant, uh, but it's not going to be exactly the determinant. It's uh, but it's it's linear algebra. Linear algebra is going to tell you eigenvalues, right? Yes, yes. So so basically, if you have a differential equation, the way to analyze if it's stable or not is looking at the eigenvalues. Same idea here. Same idea here.